look here. You know, he and I come out here every game. We try to have something to motivate you guys and all that. You know, y'all motivate us a lot. You know, the energy that y'all come out here with, it's almost like we're wasting our time trying to get y'all amped up, right? That's the thing that uh, the people always ask me, like, hey, tell me about that 2022 team 15 years ago. I'm out of baseball and I'm done. I'm not going to talk about a state championship. I'm going to talk about y'all and the energy that y'all play with and how much y'all love to be around each other and how hard y'all fight. And even in that game last night, things didn't go our way. Had a lot of adversity. We've talked about that since seventh grade. Since the first day you were in our program, I thought we did a pretty decent job of handling that. None of that that happened last night dictates anything tonight. Nothing at all. No matter how you pitch, no matter how you play defense, no matter how you hit, it doesn't matter, okay? Because right now you draw the line in the sand and you go nose to nose with them and you get, you make them get everything, make them earn everything that they get, okay? Punch them in the mouth, come out with energy, and let's win the freaking state championship today, guys. Let's do it. 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 Right here. Hey, everything was on our side yesterday. Yeah, we don't know a lot about Bradfield. He's going to be low, <laughs> mid-80s probably at times. We'll see. We'll, right when we get on, we're going to find out what kind of move he has, and we're going to find that out in the first inning, okay? Because we're going we're gonna to go to work on this guy, all right? I need a lot of energy today, guys. We weren't focused yesterday. We weren't our best yesterday. We weren't even our average yesterday, okay? I think we've had three bad games this year, okay? Yesterday was one of them, but we never backed up. The game went back-to-back -back on bad days, all right? The energy's there today. I feel it. The focus is there, all right? I feel like it's a good vibe going on right now, I guess. Um, there's not a better group that I want to go to war with today, okay? Um, I'm excited about it, guys. Let's be our best today. We weren't last night. I wasn't my best last night. I still think I cost us a run, maybe not even the game, okay? I, and I asked Lel, okay? Pick me up there, okay? Let's pick one another up. Let's go to war today. I love it. And let's, let's inning by inning, pitch by pitch, all we got. Leave it all on the line and be the baddest summer gun in the stadium. You understand? I love y'all. I mean that, okay? And, then, and it's gonna be tougher. It's gonna be tough to duplicate what we have here, guys. Y'all are a family. Y'all love one another, and that's why you're gonna win today. Okay? Y'all love one another. Okay? Take it home. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go boys. Last time, Thomas. Last time, guys. Last time together, boys. Last time. I love every single one of y'all. Y'all are my best friends. You know what time it is. Let's go. Let's win this damn good time. Have a good time doing it. Let's win it with a smile on your face. Let's go. We go three, we go three, one, two, three. Who cares? They try so nice. Hey, 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 Against the tough Jaguar lineup, senior Ryan Herbison would make his first start of the year and lead his team into the final game of their season.
Trailing by a score of one to nothing early, the Cougars would fight their way back into the game and challenge the Jaguars to make plays. Right back up the middle, could be two. An easy step on the bag by Monastere to first in time. Double play, 6-3, twin killing, erases the bases. And after two and a half, it's still tied 1-1 between Northwest Rankin and DeSoto Central here on the NFHS Network. Delivers a ground ball right back up the middle. Monastir comes over to his left, fires across the low throw, and a great pick at the bag by Cameron. And that's a huge, huge out. It saves a tie ball game. We've played three and a half. The halfway point is here. Still tied 1-1 between Northwest Rankin and DeSoto Central.
same time ball hit down the line that's a scorcher by Mason McCaleb he's gonna get at least two and now he's gonna get three dug out of the corner by Tapper a leadoff triple for the Cougars and Mason McCaleb yeah! line to third in and out of the glove of Moore He'll go to first, not in time. If he'd gone to second, he could have gotten an out. A 2-2 count to Nick Monastere from Gavin Brassfield. Runner goes, swung on and driven deep to left. Keo going back to the track, to the wall, and it is off the wall. It's a lead of one for Northwest Rankin on an RBI double by Nick Monastere. Breaking ball lifted to left field with his dropping quickly. Cross makes a diving grab. Oh, what a play to end the inning. Keeps the game tied. In the top of the sixth, we go to the bottom half. 2-2 Two -two between DeSoto Central and Northwest Rankin. and two outs, Brassfield set. There go the runners, and it's grounded towards third weekly hit, taken all the way to first to low throw, it goes wide, all he had to do was tag the bag at third, and safe everywhere, the Cougars take the lead. Just a moment there of indecision, had a runner coming, coming right at him, if he tags the runner there or tags the bag, the inning is over. Instead, he tries to go to first. And that mental miscue allows the runner to reach base safely.
wait for luck. Dedicate yourself and you go find yourself. Swing and a miss. Strike three. The Cougars are your 6A state champion. championship last year we were talking about that we were here a year ago game second we said we were going to come back here next year and win it and look where we are look where we are and this man hit a triple yeah, yeah baby talk to me baby how's it feel not bad it feel that's what it's all about baby that's what it's all Going into the game, just come out here and do everything I can to win this game, and we did. Got on base three times, three pitches, and you know, they took care of it. They tried to steal a run, but it didn't matter. Uh, yeah, <laughs> state champs.
beside me and said, Coach, you don't need relief today. And so I just thought that was very uh, pathetic that he uh, completed the job today. And so just very proud of Ryan. How special is it just not only after what happened last year, but to bring this program's first time since 2005? You know, I, I told somebody this the other day, but uh, this group of seniors right here, we knew they were special from the time they were eighth and ninth grade. And just the, to watch them go about their business every day and just constantly put forth effort, build each other up, support, bring other young guys up, to just watch them go and, and go about their work every day and, and to see them reap the rewards of that hard work, man, this is just, uh, as a coach, you can't get much prouder than your guys. What are you most proud of for this one? Just those seniors, those seniors, and uh, just you know, it's it's the little things. Mason McKayla hadn't been starting lately. He comes in, gets hit by a pitch twice, and hits a triple. I mean, so just constant effort from those like that, like that, where somebody steps up every single day, and it's somebody different. I mean, it wasn't just our our dominant guys of Nick and Brady getting the job done. It was everybody team wide. Nick, a fitting MVP. I mean, he got another one today. I know. I mean, he. I, I've never seen so many balls hit hard that somehow didn't get out of the park. Uh, but he uh, is an ultimate competitor, like I've said all along. He. I told him I, he's like a son to me. Uh, he goes about things the right way. And so just so proud of him to be able to finish up his career with a moment like that, being the MVP of the, the championship series. What's, said this mean, what's this mean for the program, obviously? Let's talk about it. Well, I think these two, this last two seasons have kind of been like a stepping stone to get to our point back to where we belong, which is a championship program for Northwest Ranking Baseball. And, and, and so I just think that uh, going forward, they've set the standard, and this class has done a great job. And so it, it's, it's our goal to just get back here each and every year um, and be in the hunt every year, and I think that we can do that. With the talent we have in our program, uh, every year we should be in the hunt. Said you made it interesting, you know, a moment ago. So how do you process all of this right now? And I don't, path? I don't know if it's really hit me just yet. Uh, you know, during the the last, we gave up the single there, and I kind of had a thought go through my mind. So I said I got to get out of the way. So I went down the dugout and we kind of watched through the cracks right there. But uh, I haven't. Uh, I don't know that it's really hit me yet. But uh, at the same time, I just am so proud of the, the the hard work and the effort that my guys have put into this year and it paying off. Thanks, coach. Appreciate it. Appreciate Congratulations. It. What are we, baby? Ah! Um, what, for, for you, and then I'll, I'll ask you next, um, you know, were there any surprises along the way in getting back here and getting the job done this time? Coming to this game three, we knew we weren't leaving without a win. I mean, we've worked so hard this season, we had a un... Nobody had a season like we did, so when we came out here, stepped on this field, me and Brady talked to each other, it's like, we're not losing. So right when we stepped on here, passed the lines, got on the mound, it was good time. And uh, obviously you guys are standing right here, so a big, lot of big hugs here. But what, what do you say about this team? And, you know, these are memories that are going to probably last forever, right? These are all my brothers. We've all been we've known each other since kindergarten. Uh, no, preschool. 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 I mean, it's just it's a good thing to have when you have that much of a brotherhood on your team. I'm sure you don't miss it. I, I'm at a loss for words right now. I can't talk too much. I'll start crying. I've been crying for the past 20 minutes. I'm so proud of these guys. And there's so many people that that have been through this program, players that uh, that have gotten close and they haven't gotten it done, and coaches that have been here and put in a lot of work have gotten close and they had gotten it done, but we knew with this senior class, we knew back in seventh grade, and you never really say that about kids that age, but uh, it was something different about them. They had a different juice and they had a different way they carried themselves, and we always had a feeling that we were going to get to this point. When we got here last year, you know, we knew that that was going to be kind of us getting there. We were going to break the door down, break the wall down this year. I uh, could be more proud of it, so we're super proud. Hey, 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 hey. y'all going to celebrate with them. Coaches will clean up the dugout today. Legendary performance by Ryan Herbis. A little bit. What's it mean, 17 years later, to get your second championship? Man, that's awesome, and uh, the first one we had, I wasn't even the pitching coach. Uh, it's just to get back here with Coach Topic, who's a, a legendary pitching coach uh, himself, you, coach. and uh, just to get back here is awesome, man, and to finally get that monkey off, off of our back is uh, phenomenal. Talk to me, how'd it feel to watch you guys get that ring? Uh, definitely something uh, that we didn't get to do as uh, exciting and definitely awesome to watch them, you know, get the belt pile in the center of the field. Yeah, it was uh, special. Uh, wish we could have done it, but glad they did. It's uh, setting a new standard.
It's good to have. Oh, do you think they had it in them? Oh, absolutely. These guys, they've been watching us play when we were in seniors and they were freshmen, and they definitely knew what our mission was, and they uh, followed it up and got the job done for us. So they did a good job. Made it here last year, obviously yeah. against that really good Madison team. Yeah. Came up, faced the Soto, and you know they're equally talented. And uh, how'd you feel like you guys? What was the mindset going into this game today? Well, our, our guys, ever since we got put out last year, you know they 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 made they made a, a, a vow to themselves that they were going to get back. And you know they worked hard on all season. They're a very resilient bunch. Then they stayed the course. They brought it every day. Um, they they have a special bond. And I, 15 years of coaching, I've never seen anything like it. They just you know, they play hard, they play with an edge, uh, they're just high energy guys and, you know, I think that's what makes them successful. You know, the bond, the family, we talk about family all the time and, you know, they really bought into what we were doing, they loved one another and there was no quit in them. You know, I, uh, the whole year, you know, we just, we, we, we talked about getting back here, we, we weren't going to be satisfied getting here, we were going to be satisfied with, you know, a dog pile at the end of the year. And, you know, I couldn't be more proud for those guys. They earned it. They worked their tails off, and you know, I couldn't be more happy. And just, I love them to death. They're, 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 they're one of the better groups, if not the best group of family-oriented kids I've ever been around. Talk to me about Herbertson's performance today. Oh man, it's uh, you, you, you're not gonna find a better one. I don't care where you look, and all. I mean, he, you know, battling uh, shoulder surgery last year, not being a pitch in the playoffs. So you know, he was just a dog last year for us. You know, hadn't thrown more than two innings all year, and. You know, last night after the game, him telling KK, he said, he said, I got the ball tomorrow, Coach, we're going to talk about it. And you love it in a kid, he says, there's nothing to talk about. I got it, I'm going seven, and we're going to win. So, I mean, just very gutsy, gutsy performance. And then on top of that, getting the game-winning hit, the go-ahead hit, and then closing the door. I mean, he's, he's an absolute dog and very, very gutsy performance. Well, the mindset was to come out here and just play baseball because it, there's a lot of pressure in these types of games, and you want your guys to come out and just relax not play up tight and, and really come out here and just be at their best. And, uh, you know, I thought we did that. I thought we had some moments where we were up tight and made some mistakes. But uh, just so proud of the constant effort out of my guys. The, they compete, compete, compete. All the work they put in over the years to get to this point, it's so rewarding to see that pay off. Talk a little bit about uh, Ryan Herberson's pitching performance today. I mean, Ryan's just a competitor. Uh, he wanted the baseball. He told me last night that he was pitching. Uh, we walked in the uh, stadium today. A guy kind of joked, said, hey, if you need some relief, don't call me. And Herberson looked at me and said, hey, coach, you don't need any relief today. I got this. And so uh, to see him go out and pitch the way he did, attack the strike zone, keep his pitch down, pitch count down so that he could actually go the whole game, just so proud of him and uh, what he did. All right, coach. Anything uh, else you want to say? Uh, I love the senior class like they're, like they're my sons. I, it doesn't matter if they were on the field or not. Uh, they were the, the constant teammates. Um, the, the way they worked and went about it, the way they pulled for one another, and the way they lead, lead this team, they have a very bright future ahead, and I can't wait what, to see what God has planned for them. Alrighty. We come to a 34 and 3 season. And we did it. And we finished I mean, it. We did that thing. What you got to say? I mean, we just dog walk everybody. I mean, good, good stuff, baby. I mean, it's over. Without mercy, we still on top baby. and we finish it. Over. Repeat coming next year. We'll see you there. See you. Yeah.